want a fast and easy way to list your bundles on Amazon with legitimate registered EAN numbers instead of UPCs, instead of GTI and exemptions, instead of brand registry, here's a quick and fast, easy way to do it. And this is the last and final trick that I want to teach you that has saved that has saved thousands. I just tried this myself. I don't need to try this. I tried it for you guys because I want to be able to get you guys to save money, to get rid of some of these crazy headaches that you're going through. If you're not ready for brand registry yet, or if your trademark is pending, or you're not sure what you're doing, or you're brand new, whatever it is, there, uh, there is a less expensive way to get a GTIN. A GTIN, again, is a global trade index number. It is a UPC or an EAN or a, a couple other forms, ISBN number or whatever else. So if you're selling product and you need a UPC code or you need a GTIN number and you don't want to deal with the, ex ex the exemptions and brand registry right now, you need to get EIN number, EAN numbers. EAN numbers are the European numbers instead of the UPC that is used in North America. Here's the fundamental difference. Cost. So I just went to gs1uk.org and I got 1,000 EAN 13 digit numbers accepted by Amazon on products for 150 US dollars. If you go to gs1.org for the US, you can get 100 codes, I think for $250 and then there's an annual renewal fee. EAN numbers, are just plain less expensive. And you can use them on amazon.com. You do not have to be a European company. You do not have to be based in the UK. I filled out the form and it said, you know, what is your VAT number? Oh, I don't have, I'm not registered at that text. My, my, com my country didn't come up on their list. They let me register all the way through. I got through it, I made my payment, and then I got my code. And in the code, you list the product you need to, in order to get the code, you need to list the product name and a, a description of it and a couple other pieces of information. And after you're done with that, bam, it gives you the code. You take that code, you create your listing on Amazon using an EAN number, and bam, all done. It's awesome and way cheaper. So make sure that if you need an EAN number, or you need a UPC, you need a GTIN, whatever it is that you need, and you want to circumvent all the other craziness, and you want to deal with brand registry right now and all those things, get your own EAN numbers. You will need to list your company's name and you know, your, your typical stuff, and then they give you your registered code. It is amazing. I'm not sure why EAN numbers are this much cheaper than UPC codes, but who cares? You can also get a barcode with it, the barcodes, they give you three free, I think, and then you have to pay for the actual visual, you know, code that looks like this. Um, you will have to actually pay extra for those after three, but some of them you don't need a code on it. You just need the number. And if Amazon wants you to prove it, then you can have that. You can print it on your packaging if you need to, whatever else you need to do. But for now, you can list that item with your EAN number and not have to even worry about the actual UPC code, you just need that number. It can save you thousands of dollars and a lot of headaches. So make sure that you do that. It's a cheap, fast, easy way to get your items listed on Amazon with absolute 100% legitimate EAN registered codes to your business. I recommend that highly to get, you know, if you don't wanna go through all the rigmarole, but I still highly recommend creating a brand, getting brand registry, getting that trademark, because it will save your business in the long run. And you guys, no, you don't have to commit to the long run all the time. You can start small and start building up to that because you never know what Amazon's going to change next. I do believe they're going to start forcing brand registry because it's a good solid protection for everyone involved. And it has awesome features once you brand register. There are so many features behind the brand registry cloud that I just, you know, I can't say enough about how much brand registry has meant to me and my business and the growth of it. So that's just me. If you're not there yet, fine. Go get some EAN numbers. GS1UK.org. I hope that helps you and I, subscribe to the channel for more great Amazon selling information. Again, join our Facebook group, mommyincome.com slash join us with the code word GTIN and you can get in the Facebook group.